Hello everyone, I'm Matt and this is Marcus. Hello. Alright, and we're training lower back. Yep. So, is your back actually sore? Yeah, it's just a real <laughs> touch sore, that's why we're doing it, so. Yeah, okay. Yeah. From just, what, lifts? Just from lifts, yeah. It was, it was just a real faintest twinge, but um, sometimes the, all the muscles down there kind of locked up a bit afterwards, so yeah. there's awareness there, but it's, it's getting better. But yeah, just a little bit of treatment would um, help me. You know, be out in the sun, man. Yeah, we wanted to get some sun. We did it, Melbourne. We got yeah, through it. Yeah, behind the tower's drum. Yeah, we got through the winter. <laughs> Stop the wind. <laughs> we'll tag it into the bottom yeah, of the, the nobbies. Yeah, our nobbies. sponsors. Yeah, nobbies are good as new yeah. under undies uh, sponsor we, we've got. Yeah, I've got one too. Yeah, I don't know what they call them. The, the flower Sheesh. ones. Sheesh. Yeah, get the flower. Yeah, very comfy. Comfy undies, aren't they? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, no, I love them. Got a discount code in the description, I think. So, yeah. Get yourself some nobbies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Go on, everyone, yeah. subscribers, all you fans. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be as cool as us. <laughs> yeah. That feels good, man. It's good. This table uh, isn't as low as our our indoor ones, so I've got to be on my tippy toes. Yeah. Because I'm a short boy, <laughs> unfortunately. What's on your hand? Oh, just my. Um, Bit of security here, it's um, Organite Pyramid. So, it's uh, yeah. That's the theme for this training video, hey? Like, yeah. uh, earthing and grounding. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're grounding right now, the cement. It's got yeah. earthing properties. There's metals Absolutely. and stuff in that that um, help you connect to the ground and then you're earthing me out. So, by connection with me. So, so, so how much earthing yeah. going on the yeah. sun's earthing? Sun, we've got fresh air, sun. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's. Our phones are away somewhere. Well, the yeah, you know, only technology here is the camera. Yeah, we don't know where the, the phones are right now, do we? <laughs> I actually don't know where mine is. Yeah, I lose mine all the time. So. Yeah. It's a good thing, good problem, isn't it? When you kind of, uh, yeah, you about to go home and you don't know where your phone is, it means that yeah. You had been... to give me my phone once because uh, I left it here at work, remember? When oh I... yeah, down rock climbing. Yeah, I was, I was like, oh, where's my phone? Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> left it on the bin, I think. Yeah. <laughs> where it belongs. Yeah, where it belongs. <laughs> In the bin. In the bin, yeah. Yeah, oh, that feels so good, man. Like, feels just good. therapeutic. Yeah, getting that connection. That, uh, yeah, knowing that it's the right thing. Yeah. Yeah, you just know. It's, it just feels good. I had this uh, real, like, blokey bloke uh, footy guy on the weekend. Um, and, yeah, after the, during the tr session, he was like, man, this is really weird to say, but you have, you have really good hands. <laughs> like, like my pressure and whatnot. Yeah. And I was like, thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't want to sound like he was like gay or anything. He just was just being honest. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's just good pressure. <laughs> yeah, it's what you want. Yeah, yeah. It's the idea. We, we kind of think that it's a lost art, isn't it? Or it's a dying art. The old um, hands-on work. Yeah, there's a lot of subpar treatment out there in the world. And yeah, one of our missions is to lift that the standard. You know, get people getting good connection and oh, standards are high with you, man. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta make sure we do it perfect when we treat you. Yeah, I remember when I first started working here, it was always a bit of pressure treating his your lower back. Yeah, it's like because if you're not doing it perfect, you're like, nah, maybe I'll grab elbow. your elbow yeah, and grab your put elbow. it into the right spot. Yeah, <laughs> that's the yeah, it's, but I suppose it's how you learn, isn't it? Like, yeah, 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 we um, you can and when you're receiving it, I'm, I feel like I'm a connoisseur, a kind of a the founder and the you had to develop this work over nearly 25 years now so um yeah i kind of i could tell if someone who wasn't kind of tuned in or they they weren't on the on the spots and it's just sort of a lot of times it's an angle change or a pressure change and it's just subtle but it's um makes a massive difference to the results so yeah yeah you know how so. it feels i was just feeling just then it was a bit uh a bit slippy that yeah, because of the sweat, man. We're or... sweating out here. <laughs> yeah. It's a good problem. Yeah. Like a couple, two days ago, we had the heaters going flat out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then yesterday it got a bit warmer, and then today it's like, wow. This week, oh. Yeah. So Sexy. it's good. So good. Yeah. Like we had our webinar at um, 6 o'clock this morning, like 5.30 in the morning, I was sweating. Oh, yeah. I was stripping the gear off. Oh, yeah, up. I woke up sweating. Yeah, I was sweating last night. Yeah. Like, I've been doing double jumpers and beanies for the, our early mornings and um, yeah this morning it wasn't necessary it was um, 
<laughs> the magic of, of warmth there. Yeah, yeah, and then I was in a singlet and I was, yeah, sweating. So, like a real breathable singlet too, like our basketball style oh, yeah, singlet. Yeah. You're gonna have to start wearing that soon. Yeah. No more so, polo or jumpers. Yeah, I, I always treat in, oh, I like to treat in um, sleeveless, you know, the singlets. Yeah, use the elbows. Yeah. That's uh, no restriction. Oh, I feel like I'm burning. Nah, this is good. <laughs> yeah, getting a good, good, bit of, good amount of sun. Yeah. Go, going back to, um, no, like me kind of mentoring you, man, like a, that's one of the things that really lights me and, and Aaron up. We've kind of got our online courses and with it's more a mentorship. So we, like there's um, in the, the webinars that we do every week while the course is running, uh, we just really try and go really deep into our bag of trips, tricks and um, yeah, just teach everything that we kind of know about healing and body work and health and mindset and things like that. And that's I think the, that's, that's the whole course, eh? It's all yeah, that health. Yeah, yeah that's, that's where the gold is and how to get strong and be effective and build your business, get, get more online kind of presence and things like that. So yeah, we kind of rate it. So anybody out there that's is a a budding practitioner, even if you haven't even started, like, yeah, look into our online course and, um, yeah, early birds are available at this current point in time. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you, if you want to be a, a good plumber, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a nice we, big plug. <laughs> yeah, we can uh, teach you. Did you want the other side of the back or? Yeah, whatever you want to do, man. Like, uh, the other side would be good, but. Right. Have the, uh, the sun's not the, shadowy Where's the anything? light? Don't need much wax, eh? Just... Yeah, there's a bit of um, sweat. Yeah. Arms look bigger this way, bro. Your shoulders look... Arms look bigger? That's good. The gladiators. That's you, bro. <laughs> the next one. Sometimes you look at the selfie mirror like, oh, fuck, have I lost muscle? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't, you don't want to get too paranoid about all that. Just lift, lift, uh, live healthy and yeah. train. Yeah, kind of... Um, I like the little line, the body's an instrument, not an ornament. It's sort of kind of says how do you feel you know how energetic are you how vital are you that's what's important how happy are you yeah. you know so um, and I think your, your body kind of represents what you do as well so you kind of get efficient and streamline it you know if you sprint you know you build all those muscles up or whatever yeah with, with what you're saying as well with how you feel because we a lot of people what how it is now you know we got us our, our watches and Fitbits and and it's all about counting calories and make sure you done this amount of steps and your, your heart rate's this. It's like, it's too much too much data yeah. where it's not enough, like, you should, you should be knowing. You should, yeah, yeah. you should feel that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I feel like it's a bit backwards yeah. nowadays. Yeah, I threw mine away what, like, what seven it? years ago. Like I had, I was right, you know, on the, the Garmin or whatever oh, and it oh, was yeah. checking out stats that's and all that kind of yeah. programming the watch. So I'd, Beep when it was time to do the next rep and yeah. things like that. I could, you know, especially at sprints, I kind of knew what pace I was running, my heart rate throughout the session, oh, things like that. Boring, but, go yeah. on, far out. <laughs> but, um, I think um, Paul, Paul Check says this sort of stuff in his podcast. He said talks about this sort of stuff. He get, maybe it? maybe use that, something like that so you can kind of gain awareness, but then throw the thing away. Wow. Like, okay. um, yeah, you should. You should be able to tune into your own body and kind of r understand when maybe the, you're clogging up a bit, you know. Take you, your training wheels off, mate. Yeah, Go and, and tune into yourself. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, I'm, I suppose I've just been through a detox and like, um, yeah, I'm big on regular cleaning, like whether it's your body, your, your mind or your, your house, yeah. things like that. But, <laughs> but every now and then you, it's good, really good to do a deep clean and, and um, go, you know, shut down the factory and take take it apart take the machines apart and uh give it a good deep clean and yeah you gave your body a good old deep clean yeah actually. <laughs> yeah it's when you stop that you can clean it so put the car up on the hoist and you know <laughs> go yeah. go to go to town on it so um give it a chance to to clean so yeah, i love it it's good yeah it's yeah. i love the whole yeah that message um <laughs> I, yeah, I remember like oh, a few years ago as well. Like friends asking me, you know, like you don't have a Fitbit, or like or smartwatch or anything. I was like, nah. I was like, how do you know how many, how, how much exercise you've done? 
How almost, many steps you done? Yeah, I, don't know, I was like, don't, 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 don't know. <laughs> that, who cares? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's no, just so good, just tapping in, and even like when the sun's out at, after winter, everyone's just drawn to go outside and get that sun because everyone's been lacking. Um, then once we've we've had our our dose, we'll, where we we don't need it as much, we're not like hungry for it and, and eager to go outside. So yeah. the body's just smart, knows what to do. Yeah. Yeah, what you're saying is really cool, man. Like yeah. that that natural intelligence, isn't it? Like we just sort of we see the blue sky and and just the sun shines on the tree or the whatever it might be, but it looks different, it looks better. We're more attracted to it, you know. So it's yeah. like um, think of us humans. Yeah, our glow. Yeah, if someone's got a tan. It looks good. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it like does. It's, it looks good. So <laughs> we've been so people that are telling you to not get a tan. They're, they're programming the wrong shit. So <laughs> Take like, your hat off, Leo. <laughs> no, like all yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. But obviously, you got, uh, in saying this, you've got to make sure you you build up your tolerance. Um, don't go all out. You know, no sunscreen and 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 outside the whole day get the early sun build the, um, the red light I think on your skin so your skin's yeah. strong and, and then you'll slowly be able to build it up because um, yeah straight away you'd, you'd, you'd what happens like you'd get um, you could get too many what it, moles or, or shit and get burnt and whatnot yeah but a, it, and Fred red light that's that's good for, for yeah. that as well yeah I need to start using mine now cool. yeah. so and it's sort of like um yeah, you've got to be careful. The sun, the sunscreen. If you got to think about if if you wouldn't put it in your mouth, oh yeah, don't put it on your skin because the your skin is a, like another mouth. It kind of it absorbs, absorbs into your bloodstream. Yeah. yeah. What would you so, recommend? As a uh, just just the real natural ones like coconut oil base. Yeah. Yes. And um, yeah, like what I don't know the the active ingredients like. I think you um, get like proper like mostly zinc ones, right? Yeah, zinc you, you'd be okay with that. Yeah. Yep. But you'd have to just do your research and um, see what is natural. What would you put in your mouth? Yeah. And then um, you can know that you, it's not going to be poisoning you. And and I think a lot of it's there is a lot of research saying that the the main cause of skin cancer is sunscreen. Oh. And so um, again, delicate here. Uh, I know, risky with the information. But if, if you think about if, you know that little rule: if you wouldn't put it in your mouth, don't put it on your skin because yeah. you're kind of burning um, toxins into your body. You know. <laughs> right. So it's sort of, it's a bit crazy yeah, yeah. to think that, you know, that could be true. Yeah. So. And, and if it's like a 30 degree day as well, and you're definitely copying it with the sun, you know, chuck on some clothes or or just yeah. know, go inside because you've obviously had a lot. Um, so it's all about just monitoring it. Don't yeah. just feel like, all right, I've just dumped myself full of sunscreen, I'm okay. Like, yeah. It's dosage, isn't it, man? Like Dosage. Dosage is life. You know, you got to work out the right amount of dosage for, of everything, you know, what's what's right for you, yeah. whether it's exercise or or whatever. So yeah, <laughs> food. I like this topic. It's yeah, <laughs> dosage, mate. That's good. Yeah, this whole yeah. this whole video about uh, yeah the health of of just earthing, getting sun, and yeah. no technology. <laughs> yeah. Be be a natural human. Yeah. The other way, kind of, it's been for ten thousand years. Yeah. The last hundred years, the last you know twenty years is a spec on um, what humanity's been around for so um, yeah, it's a good little life hack to remove yeah. any stress or anxiety you might have yeah living like a human <laughs> yeah not a robot yeah and the, the other one i think is really important too i've, I've been thinking about is um just finding your tribe because like um yeah like if i look, watch a bit of gabor mate and he kind of talks about the the, the battle between um, authenticity and attachment and so we kind of learn when we're, you know, really young, like a baby and toddler, that, you know, we need attachments of, for survival. So um, right early on, we kind of need you know, food, shelter, everything, protection from our parents. They got to do everything for us because we were really and we're really dependent. But as yeah. we get older, um, if we keep on just behaving ourselves and not being authentic, because we're kind of worried about survival and you know attachment to. To different groups and stuff and not wanting to rock the boat like um i, I feel like um that not being authentic makes you sick and not makes you unhappy because you're not living in all you know the life that you really want to explore and um so the way the remedy for that is find your tribe find the people that are into the things that you're into 
So then you can, you know, have the attachment and you can have that um, authenticity, you know, and I think that's what we're, one of the things we're all about here at MMT. You know, the people that are attracted in here, they fucking love it because they can be authentic and be himself. They can just get their shoes off and yeah. treat and help other people out and, you know, yeah. have fun. Yeah. 100%. Be fit, you know, connect with people, you know. If you're not, you're just probably secretly upset, angry, mm. and then you're living life regretful, probably. Just yeah. Lots of shit. Yeah, no regrets, mate. No regrets. Yeah. Yeah, get the tattoo. No regrets. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. When it says no regrets across <laughs> their throat. <laughs> so, yeah, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> you got your um, uh, necklace on as well, yeah? Yeah, so I'm kind of into the um, an organite um, necklace here, so the copper. And what, what it is, it's the um, epoxy that kind of holds all these different um, metals together. Uh, like on the bottom of this one, there's a there's a crystal in here, and all the different um, metals. And this one, I think it has got something. This blue sticker is um, some sort of um, I forget the word for it, but yeah, there's a something important. Yeah, <laughs> it does. There's the different um, not holograms, but so, some sort of um, holographic. I don't know. So they're both they're both organised, but the necklace one is uh, one to keep around you. Yeah, it's more up. personal. This one um, ex has bigger radius of protection from like all the just different EMFs. So yeah, yeah the so yeah electromagnetic frequencies. Yeah, um, yeah so they're in a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, they damage damage us when they're not when they stay in our systems. The the free radical kind of stuff is um, is um, damages us. So yeah, you can. Just by touching the ground, you can kind of eliminate a lot of that yeah. bad electricity or electrical pollution that is around. So, yeah, so every, many. On this forms. topic as well, like every every yeah. night, uh, turn the power off at like my house yeah. or our house, and yeah. and, the, and the internet off as well. Yeah. Uh, I think I think the power off one. The idea of that is because the electricity is just constantly through the walls, and, and you're gonna sleep, you know, ten eight hours, and then. In the day so it's probably nice to just have everything off i kind of just like having like no no lights or anything will be on you know like those small little lights that might be on in the house yeah. turn them off um but yeah just kind of re reduce that kind of emf thing um i was gonna say oh yeah i'm with your necklace because i've got one as well i think you said it you kind of like it because it gives you a bit of like, confidence you feel like you've got some kind of guardian or, or something yeah um, yeah so it's you, know, you, you visually see it around you, so when you look in the mirror as well, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I've got this. I've got this, whatever yeah. it might be in life. Yeah. So, yeah, I think you can actually get um, meters that kind of can show you that the EMFs are reduced, radiation's reduced. But, yeah, even if, um, even with our necklaces, we've, even if it is a placebo, it's still, it still still works. So, you know, what you've got to go with what works in life and... And kind of recognise when things aren't working, and even you have invested years of into the, an idea or whatever, and um, a practice. Like if it's not working, why the fuck are you still doing it? Sort of, you know, like That's a good question. You know, give it up. It's okay. You know, it's all right, mate. But, but I suppose then it comes back to that attachment and authenticity kind of thing, and it, and you have to be have courage to be authentic, and you know. And, so I'm encouraging people to be have courage, to be authentic. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, just do what's right for you. 100%. Find your tribe, find the sun, <laughs> find the fresh air. Is this our outro? <laughs> yeah, I reckon. Yeah, it's good. Find, way find blokes like Maddie, you can have a chat with. <laughs> He'll fix your back. Far out. He can talk to you about nature and natural things and. They're not weird, they're natural. They shouldn't be called alternative, they're fucking natural. <laughs> <laughs> Just how it is. Go on, far out. Go and do some natural for? things, that's it. Run through a brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Done? You can you call it, mate. Get, it, get, the, get these nice eyes in the, in the sunlight. All right, done. <laughs> hey, bro.